YouTube. So today is Friday. I'm trying to get y'all some video content for tomorrow since I haven't gotten to do anything this week yet, period. So today's goal is to, I'm on the way now, I just got off work to grab a pair of brake pads for the van. They are completely shot, which is understandable. Woo, what a deal. Whoa. All right. And uh, so I'm on the way over here to grab a set of brake pads for the van. And hopefully, guys, when I do the brake pads, I can go ahead and throw the coilovers on the front of the van so that we can get the front end drop down to match up better with the rear end since we put the system in it. So it's always had that little bit of squat. I never liked it, so I really want to get rid of it and get it leveled out. So that's pretty much the main purpose of the coilovers going on it because the rears don't match, but the fronts do for the 97, like the CD6 coilovers. The fronts match exactly with my van, even though it's a 98, but the rears, for some reason, are just, they're like shock and spring separate, and no one really makes coilovers for that, so I'm gonna have to figure something out for the back. I don't know if I'll cut a coil off or I don't know how I'm going to go about doing that, but I'll figure something out for that. But yeah, for now, man, we're on the way over to the auto parts and hopefully we can grab some brake pads, get that fixed and uh, try to do as much vlogging as possible with y'all so that y'all can enjoy this and leave a like and uh, leave a comment. What is going on, boys? So it is the next day and we are actually out in the shop right now which is freaking crazy man like it it's just man i can't believe it man it's been it's been forever since we've been out here so basically what i'm going to try to get done this morning is i got these cheap ass brakes from o'reilly's that i need to get thrown on the van and while i got the front wheels off i'm gonna go ahead and get these max speed and rise coilovers thrown on and the only reason really that i'm doing this is because the amount of weight that i have in the rear of this thing has it squatted and i don't like the squat look on this thing so really i'm not trying to dump it just yet because i need to figure out how i can get the rear to go lower these coilovers do not fit the rear the, the these are 94 to 97 honda cord coilovers which the fronts are the exact same on the van but the rears are separate spring and in, in uh shock kind of like the the newer odysseys like the um like the 99 or 2000 ones like that but i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do as far as that go uh, i might try to chop the spring up see if it'll fit in the perch maybe make my own ride height from there with a, with a little bit stiffer spring rate i don't know guys we'll figure that out down the road so what i need to do probably sooner than later is so i have these tires right here that are freaking mint that's been chilling over here since we pulled them these are the factories off the cd5 that i had well i can't really show you but they're the factory accord wheels that i had on the cd5 before we put the 17s on it and i need to get these tires switched off of these wheels and put onto these wheels because this is a five lug car they are full lug but I uh, do want to use the rubber in the meantime because I don't know when exactly we're going to swap the Acura wheels onto Nisha's Accord. And I do like, like a lot of people ask me, what do I daily, like do I daily trap, do I daily turbo any, do I daily the CD5? The CD5 is supposed to be my daily, but honestly guys, this is like right now, this is like my favorite thing to drive to work just because of the system. So it's like, and then it's automatic. It's got the best AC out of anything that I own right now. And it's just, it's a fucking mob and dad mode wagon, bro. So uh, this is, this is, this is it, bro. This is like my favorite thing. That the other day when I drove it and I leaving work, I touched the brakes to go across the speed bump. And I mean, it was just hollering. So I couldn't drive it the rest of the week. It was like, I think they're having Wednesday, so Thursday and Friday. Thursday I drove the truck, Friday I drove the CD5. But yeah, like, definitely, definitely, don't get me wrong, like I could definitely daily pretty much any one of my cars right now. I don't have anything with the low intakes or anything like that. It's just, uh, the CD5 has really great AC. I drove that yesterday, beautiful AC in it. 
The turbo car doesn't have AC, but it doesn't really need it. As long as it's not raining, you can crack the window. I guess you can crack them when it's raining. So that's no issue either. But yeah, the van, man, it's just, it's just really where it's at right now for me. So um, this is just, it just rides pretty good. It's roomy. It's got the beat in it. And I don't know, it's just, it's, it's nice. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing jacked up, man. Smack the like button for me because we are back in the shop, guys. Let's get this thing jacked up, get the wheels pulled off, and see about getting these brakes and stuff done. guys so here's the brand new pads and this is the old pad it was definitely definitely wore down you can see that joke is almost flat and another thing you notice too is like you see the cracking and it's starting to like really just fall apart yeah they were they were done and the warning thing was what was making the noise so that's good the rotor still nice and smooth no problems there so yeah the, the little warning thing on the the old one it was flush with the pad so that's what was making the screech and that did its job man and let me know in plenty of time that these pads were wearing out so i got the other side already done i'm gonna go ahead stick these in get the piston pressed back in and um, yeah, we'll be done with that. I guess then we can start on trying to get these coilovers out or these factory struts out. This is new setup here, boys. <laughs> Yo. Yo, this is crazy, bro. It's been forever since I got dirty. <laughs> bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> okay, so as you can see, that's the other side. That's all in the time lapse. I'm just time lapsing the shit. Like, it's still running right now as I'm talking. I'm just time lapsing the crap out of this stuff, guys. It's a coilover setup pretty much the same as the 97 Accords. It's just a little bit tighter on this driver's side, I mean on this passenger side in the van, cause you know, like the firewall kind of goes over, I don't know, the cowl or whatever you call it, it kind of goes over where the shock towers at versus in an Accord, it's just open. But anyway, definitely, definitely doable. I mean, I don't know what time it is exactly right now, but I've been cruising through this. We've had a couple of really really tight bolts to get out but other than that man it's been a breeze so far uh again we got the other side done the only thing i'm hoping i don't know how much to lower it because again i don't want to go farther than the rear so uh i just kind of what i'm doing is exactly how they come out of the box that's how i'm sticking them in the van so the only thing i'm doing is checking the nut on the top to make sure that's tight we did have problems with that in the past but other than that max speed and rides or mxrs they're calling themselves now they don't have issues like people are making it seem if anything the only thing i ever complain to them about even when they tell me to do surveys or whatever they ask me the only thing i always say is make them go lower that's my biggest issue they don't go low enough like like a function of form would or like a um i don't know i don't know maybe the, the true hearts get pretty low too but for some reason they make this this uh bottom cup here is extremely long and you can't thread this in far enough to get low enough and i don't know if that's them trying to get the dampening right or whatever they're doing 
But if we could figure the lowness out, bro, these coilers would be the like the most perfect budget setup you'll ever get. And do not, I repeat, do not guys let any person tell you that you have to buy $1,200 coilovers, you have to buy $800 coilovers. You don't have to buy that. That's stuff that they're telling you to get because that's what they did. Same thing with wheels, real versus fake, all that shit. Guys, I'm telling you, from a budget guy, man, the, the, the stuff works great. I have ever had a crack or any stupid shit like that happen. Anything is bound to happen when you hit a pothole, guys. But all you got to do is watch your driving, man. Like, come on now. If you hit a pothole on a real wheel, it's going to bend the shit anyway. So it's like, you still got to fix it. Like, I mean, it's, it's, I don't get it. But anyway, I'm done ranting. Here's the, the MXR T7s. As you can see right there, this is their newest lineup they have. And guys, this is night and day from the uh, red coilovers and the orange ones that you're used to. Like the, the basic ones, they're great first timers. They're great for somebody just trying to roll around, get the, get the right look out of their car and just cruise, you know. But guys, if you want a nice coilover for a budget friendly price, this is the one for you. And again, my link is always in the description of every video, even if I'm not working on stuff, the link is down below. And you can also save uh, if you use discount code DF Squad at checkout. So huge shout out to those guys, man, for always looking out and always staying behind me, even though I've been kind of working slow lately, but we're gonna get back into it, guys. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one thrown in. We're going to set the van down. Hopefully, she's sitting level. drive it down the road one time see see how it goes check the brakes and stuff and then by then it should be pretty much settled to how it's gonna sit i was looking at it a while ago it looked like i might could have came down just a little bit more in the front but it's definitely more matched now than it ever was Definitely, definitely not a performance vehicle in any consideration, so I don't care about cornering. Um, but, uh, yeah, see what she, see what she does. Got a, a pretty bad shake, but it's, it's from all the tires. Man, these tires are just shot. They were on the car when I got it, and they, they weren't that good then. Um, and it's just, I don't know, I didn't plan on driving it as much as I do. So that's why I was saying earlier in the video that I do need to go ahead and get um, get the tires I have in the shop switched over to these. But it's, it's driving pretty good. The, the, uh, the front end pops but I, I, I'm 99% sure it's just the sway bar links. It does pop though upon like transferring of the weight and stuff like that. So, but I'm pretty sure it's just the sway bar links. Cause when I was looking under there, they are completely gone like it's metal on metal. And I also did the old tire shake and the tires is pretty stiff. Like there's no play up or down on the tires so I think it's just coming from the sway bar links I need to get a set of those for it but other than that man it's it feeling it's feeling pretty good man it feels pretty normal uh, I think it's I think it's a lot more level though we're gonna get out and check it 
on this flat ground up here and see where we're at but i think it's a lot more level now than it was yeah it's a lot more level now than it was before see you can tell it it's sitting pretty fucking smooth right now man that's definitely on the money damn that's on the money it looks so much better god it looks so much better bro it's right on the money man if if anything it might could come down just a tad bit more but guys it's so close i'm not even i definitely ain't even worried about it it looks real good the way it is like, that shit looks amazing i should have been done this She is right on it. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up, man. It dries pretty good. It's pretty straight, man. It's leveled out, kinda, sorta, to where I need it to be at. So, I think I'm just gonna leave it alone for now and just move on. I got some other stuff that we're gonna try to get done on the CD5 before the Tale of the Dragon event. So stay tuned for that. But if you enjoyed this video, man, I'm so hyped to be back into the shop. It's been at least probably, I don't know, four or five months, man, since I touched anything and got this nasty, bro. Like this is fucking crazy. So I'm super hyped. I hope you guys are hyped as well. Smack the like button again if you're excited. I will catch y'all next time. Remember guys, respect all bills. Peace out.